Hey guys, Reef Thru's here for Aquarium Outfitters, and this is the BioCube Basics program, week number five, adding invertebrates. So as we talk, you can see I've got my invertebrates drip acclimating over here, getting ready to go in the tank. We'll talk about that later. Before I go into week five, I want to give a quick review of week number four. So week number four was the water change. So I showed you guys how to do a water change. Uh, we know we want to do a water change when our nitrate levels reach above 20 milligrams per liter. It's a good time to do a 25% water change. Also last week we created our invert game, game plan because we knew on week five we would be able to add invertebrates. So last week I thought I was going to be adding a cleaner shrimp, a fire shrimp, a dwarf banded coral shrimp pair, and a tiger pistol shrimp this week. Um, that changed a little bit, but we'll talk about that later. So also, uh, this week, I added a few more corals. So in the Coral Life BioKeep Basics program, we add coral frags week three, four, and five. I added this. It's actually a pulsing finger leather. It doesn't look like much now. I just stuck it in there. That'll actually have polyps that'll open and close like Xenia. And I also added this purple bush gorgonian. Now we rate corals on a difficulty of care level of one to five, one being bulletproof and five being advanced. I'm gonna keep the corals in the one to three range, which would be bulletproof, easy and moderate care level corals. Uh, level four and five corals are considered skilled and advanced level corals. Typically those corals require higher lighting than the BioCube can provide and pristine water parameters. So definitely don't feel limited on your corals. The vast majority of your soft and large polyp stony corals, which is corals that have movement, um, are gonna be easily kept in a biocube, so definitely don't feel limited. So last week, we created our invert game plan. And like I said, we have a few changes. You can see these are the inverts, and I always have difficulty with this light here that we're gonna add. Um, let me go over these real quick. That is the dwarf banded coral shrimp pair, otherwise also known as the blue gold dwarf banded coral shrimp. I know it's a long name. I've got the Latin name posted below. That's a fire shrimp, which also acts as a cleaner shrimp. That is a cleaner shrimp. And then um, these are all ornamental. That is a pom pom crab, and actually, that little guy is full grown, believe it or not. And all these are ornamental with the exception of this emerald crab. And emerald crab, that's a female. The females stay small. So if you're going to add a female to your tank, definitely ask for, or, or emerald crab to your tank, definitely ask for a female. And the way to tell, let me see if this, she'll let me grab her, is when you flip her over, and if you've ever eaten crabs before, you've seen this, she's got a really wide uh, plate underneath to store her eggs. So that's a female. The male would have a much more narrow uh, flap underneath there. Uh, so she's going to stay small, the males get really big, and so for our bio cubes, we want to keep our inverts you know, on the smaller side. So those are the inverts I went with. I'll post all that below. Of course, that was different from my, from my plan last week. The, way, the book that I recommend to create your own invert game plan is the Marine Invertebrates book by Ronald Schmick. This is a great, great book. Uh, to me, this is the most accurate book. It kind of serves as like a catalog for uh, picking fish and invertebrates. This book typically sells for around $25 at your local fish store. Um, if they don't have it, ask them to special order it for you. Also, what I did while I, before I was uh, drip acclimating these is I tested my water parameters. And on week five, we really only needed to test our KH, which of mine was 11 degrees of hardness. Calcium, I had 420 milligrams per liter, which is perfect. And my nitrates, as you can see, were around 20 milligrams per liter right at the point where it's suggesting, you know, perhaps I need to do a water change, but, you know, not, not necessarily after doing a water change. So I'm going to hold off on that, wait till the nitrates get up a little bit higher, probably do another water change in a week or so. So this is an exciting time. We get some inverts going in the tank. Uh, next week is the fish. So also what we want to do this week is create your fish game plan. And for your fish game plan, I recommend this book. The Pocket Guide to Marine Fishes book by Scott Michael. Excellent book. Again, $25 at your local fish store. And another great book. 
that acts as a catalog for picking out fish. To me, this is you know the pocket guide or the pocket expert series by Tropical Fish Hobbyist uh, is the best book series to get the most accurate information on compatibility among inverts and fishes. So I kind of had a fun idea for this video. Um, I don't know if this is how well this is going to work, but I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I were to add these inverts to the tank and kind of see what they do as soon as they go in? So, as I said, I'm drip acclimating them. You can see this tube here. There's a little valve there. You can make one of these yourself. Um, the line goes into the tank and is siphoned down to this tube here, and I create or I change the the, the drip rate right here and that's about right just kind of a quick drip 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 so what you want to do is start with 25 percent of the volume that you that you want to complete so when I first started my you know my volume was about you know a quarter of the way down just barely covering the inverts and it has quadrupled so whatever container you want to do quadruple the water uh, amount of water in the container and that's going to make the water 75 percent the aquarium water that they're going into and 25% the aquarium water they came out of and that's what I call acclimated so now for the fun part let's start adding our inverts and, and see what happens here I'm gonna do one first let's do the cleaner shrimp this might be hard to do with uh, only one free hand but Alright, that is a big cleaner shrimp. I've had them for quite a while. Most of you guys probably don't know, but I actually broke down a nanocube. Let's see what he's doing over there. I broke down a nanocube to actually set up this tank for you guys to do a video series. So that's my cleaner shrimp. Why don't we throw the fire shrimp in there? Fire shrimp don't get, don't get along. I definitely don't find that to be true. It seems like fire shrimp don't get along very well together, small tanks. So I think you could do multiple cleaner shrimp. There's a cleaner shrimp up there. There's a fire shrimp there. As long as you only have one fire shrimp. So the fire shrimp seem to get feisty with each other. Uh, the cleaner shrimp seem to be do a lot better when you have them uh, in multiples. If you ever have a bubble algae problem, um, this is really that's really the only invertebrate that I know of that'll eat bubble algae. And there's my cleaner shrimp. Smiley's got one that we named Cletus. If you guys aren't familiar with her channel, check it out. She's got a 14-gallon bio cube. It's called Smiley Dakota. Alright, this is my little pom-pom crab. And I believe this is a male. And just to give you a size reference, how small this guy is. I mean, this guy's full grown. They usually they're, they're usually much smaller than that when you buy them. All right. So that's the pom pom crab. Let's toss him in. He's getting blown by the power head. And I think Smiley's got me hooked up with a better camera. This thing is called a Sony Bloggy, and it was what I could afford at the time that I bought a camera. And I really have not been happy with how well it focuses, especially underwater. And that little guy back there is a polka dot hermit. That is the fastest hermit crab that exists. That thing is so... I'll have to try to do a video about how fast, but they, they run faster than everything you, anything you've ever seen when they feel threatened. And I've seen them, they'll actually drop their shells so they can run even faster. So that's a really hard hermit crab to catch. There's my cleaner shrimp again. And these guys, what I call dwarf banded coral shrimp, have blue legs and a gold body. The lat band is close to below if you want to try to find a pair for yourself. <clears throat> Most people say you need to buy these in mated pairs, I've found. 
put them together at a fish store, and if they are going to get along, they'll get along immediately. And if they are going to fight, they fight immediately. So you can. Uh, it's actually not that hard to make a pair of these if you have a little patience. Well, there's the female. The female is the larger of the two. Let's see if the male cooperates. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is kind of an idea that. Smiley and I talked about after I added a cleaner crew to my tank. I was like, oh, maybe the viewers would have thought it would have been interesting to, uh, you know, watch the different animals go in. Okay. Let's see who's out and about. So that is my dwarf banded coral shrimp. That looks like the male. There's my cleaner shrimp, the fire shrimp. There's the female dwarf banded coral shrimp right there. That little red leg, leg right there is my uh, red serpent starfish. That is a scarlet reef hermit. That is a blue eye hermit from the Marshall Islands. That's a cool hermit crab. And you can see, you know, week number five, my rocks, if this thing would focus, are still clean. Everything looks good. I haven't really had any problems. Tank's doing really well. And the tank is certainly going to come together um, after week number six. Now the corals are all roughly placed. Those are not permanent homes. Um, after week six, I'll do a, a water change and actually start affixing some of the corals to the rock structure. And the tank's really going to come, to color, come together quickly after that. So this is the week you need to do your fish game plan my fish game plan is going to focus around one of my favorite fish my blue spotted jawfish named muppet he was in my uh 24 gallon nano cube that i broke down to make this video series for you guys um, other fish that i plan to add uh would be a designer clownfish pair a pair of bangai cardinals a tail spot blending. those guys are tons of personality really fun uh, i've never had a yellow watchman goby before those guys, that guy's going to be paired off with a tiger pistol shrimp, uh, a candy hogfish, a multicolor angel, and a regal blue tang. And I know you guys are going to abuse me for keeping a regal blue tang in a, in a nano reef, but I've done it numerous times successfully. Those and the yellow tang seem to do really well. Um, and I'm going to leave you guys with this last thought, a little teaser for the next video. So, I have been filming lots of videos for you guys, and it seems like I've had a pretty positive response. Everybody's really enjoyed them. I thought, well... What if I could spin this tank around and show you guys the filtration while I was working? What if I needed to do that or how to show you guys how to put a protein skimmer in and it's tough in my office to get a good angle. So the next video is going to be, focus please, this is the big moment. So this is going to be the BioCube 360. So I actually ordered a thousand pound weight swivel. I had a custom made piece of, of uh, maple to put underneath the aquarium to attach the swivel to. This is all the hardware, stainless steel hardware I picked up at Lowe's. I think I figured out how to attach everything correctly. In all honesty, it's, uh, it's after midnight right now and I have to work tomorrow and I, I don't know if you guys know, I work 55 to 60 hours a week with the fish store, but if I don't do this tonight, you know, I know it's, it's not going to happen. So I'm thinking... After this video is over, next time you see the BioCube, it's going to be the BioCube 360. So, pretty excited about that. Anyway, this is Reef Thews for Aquarium Outfitters asking you to support your local fish store. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you all next week.